Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Wakey, wakey. You're watching The Wake Show. Good morning, Martin. Good morning, Rich. How's it going? Well, I am great because today we are in Ketchikan, Alaska. And our last call there last week, it was mm -hmm. beautiful. So keep your fingers crossed for some wonderful weather all cruise long. I can feel it in my bones. We're going to be lucky. We dock pretty close to the downtown area. Just walk to the right, about five minute walk to your right. And then with the water to your back, uh, you'll see the shops right in front of you, some great restaurants, but walk four blocks up and you're going to find Creek Street and the Cape Fox Lodge. Of course, the Alaskan Lumberjack Show. Today, you had a chance if you came to our log Loggerheads presentation to meet Lumberjack Mark yesterday. He's enormous. <laughs> what? But what fun. He's so enormous. He yeah. certainly, you can pick him out. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, and nicest guy in the world. And I got to throw my very first axe and I, 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 I hit. I know, I've removed all the sharp objects out of your office and seeing that. Yeah, because <laughs> now I want to throw everything. And congratulations to our passengers who took part. It was the red team against the green team. We split the Princess Theater in two. It was so much fun. Um, catch a candies today. Amazing. This is an amazing candy store. You're going to love it. And their specialty is chocolate covered Oreos. Now we're working this morning, mm -hmm. so if anybody happens to be by there, we like the white chocolate covered Oreos. Yeah, if there's any spare, yeah. you know, yeah. just yeah. shameless promotion. <laughs> okay, uh, so much going on. Do me one favor though, due to the uh, requirements of the itinerary, it is our shortest time in port. Uh, all back on board, please, no later than 1.30 because we're setting sail for a sea day afternoon of fun. And of course, do you know, do you know? Do you know, do you know, do you know? But the nice thing about that is you get an afternoon nap in. Yeah, if these people aren't going to nap. They're here to make the most of it. We're going to go by snow oh. passage. They want to well, see that's... whales a couple hours after we set sail. They're going to come play bingo. They, they're going to be doing all these great activities. I bet some people are going to have a nap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are heading, of course, north to Alaska. That is the theme of the entire cruise. Make sure you check out the events in the pattern that are marked north to Alaska. Ah, uh, yes. Our Alaskan specialities today, it is the naturalist at north to Alaska. We're going to be doing whale watching shortly after we sail, about 2.30ish, give or take. Yep. He's going to be on the bridge there looking out for whales as soon as he sees anything, he'll let you know. So have your cameras outside for that. And then he's got a great presentation at 3.30 again about whales. I love it. So mm. much going on. Now, if you attended my poor talk yesterday, I had a little bit of a surprise for everybody that we gave them the opportunity to ride into the Wake Show to win two tickets in Skagway on the White Pass Yukon Railway. Ah. Uh, I have them here. And right in they did. And uh, right now, if you can uh, pick one. Just one. Only one. And this is for tickets for the White Pass Yukon Railway. You've got right. Where are the tickets? I'm not looking. Where, where are the tickets there? Right here. Okay, good. Yeah, there right there here. you go, Vanna. I'm not, not looking. looking. I'm not looking. I'm looking. Got okay. One. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. It is going to... Thelma Anderson of... Uh, uh, sorry, of Emerald Deck. Thelma Anderson of Emerald Deck. You are a winner. Woohoo! You're going on the White Pass Railway with a guest. Compliments of The Wake Show. And I'm going to deliver these to your cabin. Now, there's another kind of really cool prize coming up that's worth $199. Wow. And we're going to draw it on tomorrow morning's show. And we're going to do exactly what we did today. Okay, but we're going to do it a little differently in that everybody that's already written in right. and anybody that writes in for tomorrow's show, you are going, that's an immediate entry for these most amazing bamboo sheets which come from Karaloha. So you got to check that out. We know that uh, these sheets valued at $199. Have you ever seen them or felt them? They're amazing. They are amazing. amazing. And we're going to be giving them away. Now, if you live in the United States and you win, they will mail them home for you as part of the prize. Oh, cool. So just uh, continue to write in and every entry we have here so far, you're already entered to win the bamboo sheets, which we will be drawing on tomorrow's show. My desk drawer is going to be full. <laughs> yes. So a big thank you to Bonnie for providing those sheets. Of course, Bonnie is our shopping host and she'll be a guest mm -hmm. shortly on. Okay, yesterday's trivia question, I asked you to tell me, please, the state bird of Alaska. Mm -hmm. State bird of Alaska, it is the... It is the willow. I'm going to get this wrong. The willow patakarmigadon. The willow, yes. the, the P is silent. Okay. The willow ptarmigan. Ptarmigan? The willow ptarmigan. That's a cool name. Yeah, the willow ptarmigan. That Sounds is. Sounds like Gwyneth Paltrow's baby. Alaska. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, now there's another cute little, little, I, I'm not sure, it, maybe it's not technically a bird, but the puffin. 
they fun. Aren't they cute? They're amazing. Yeah, um, it's well, that, pro probably technically a bird, right? He's got wings and a beak. It, yeah, That's wings and a beak, but, but I just love the little puffins. Mm -hmm. And Okay, so a lot of people getting that. Right now, let's go to my Willow Ptarmigan there, file. Yeah. Okay, I'll pick this time. All right, done. Fanning them out, fanning them out. Uno. One. Dos. Trace. What Got language it. do you, what, what, what number in Spanish do you never say on a cruise ship? Cinco. That you are correct, sir. <laughs> okay, you never say four. Uh, congratulations to Luke from Emerald Deck, and then we've got Dave from Emerald Deck, and it's Kyla from Baja Deck, all winning prizes. Okay, today's question, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to know, I would like to know the state flower of Alaska. Aha! What is the state flower of Alaska? And today, you will have until 5 o'clock for your submissions, and we'll look forward right into the Wake Show. Give us your shout-outs, what you're celebrating. And I have another challenge for you. Mm -hmm. You know, part of being on vacation mm -hmm. is doing things you wouldn't normally do at home. That's why we travel. So? And I'd like you to step out of your comfort zone. I'd like you, this cruise, to do something you wouldn't normally do at home. And then write in and tell us. For example, maybe some folks are going zip lining. They cool. would never do that at home. Write in, tell us you did that. It's even um, one time somebody wrote in on, in mm -hmm. on the Panama Canal cruise, told us that they had had escargot in the dining room. Oh, fun. And they had never done that. And then at the end of the cruise, we'll take all of those submissions and you'll win champagne. If we thing you have stepped the furthest outside of your comfort zone. Like throwing an axe in the Princess Theatre. I was pretty comfortable doing that. <laughs> yeah. You know, I got rid of a lot of aggression when I did it. I was like, what? I believe it. No, it was a lot of fun. But that is, you're, you're exactly right. I would normally never do no. that. That's really... I'm not an axe thrower. <laughs> I, 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 I had this vision of, uh, of Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Really? Here's Johnny. Okay, we're going to take a quick break when we come back, tell you about an amazing afternoon and great entertainment. We're right back after these words. Stars come out tonight as they always do here on board the beautiful coral. We got a big night mm -hmm. of entertainment. Now we have a pre-dinner show, a pre-dinner show. For those folks dining late, come along, 6.30 Princess Theater. For those folks dining early, we've got an eight o'clock show and it's A.J. Clark. He's gonna be doing an amazing show. It is a don't miss show. It is called, it's uh, All We Need Is Love. Love is all we need. It is so good. I love the message. I love the music. I love the graphics. AJ Clark, 6.30 and 8 o'clock. I mentioned that 6.30 show being a pre-dinner show mm -hmm. because if you're dining in the dining room, fine dining, don't anticipate eating early and being able to attend the 6.30 show. Yeah. That's why we have the 8 o'clock show. But a lot of people eat in the Horizon Quarter, those folks dining late, 6.30 and 8 o'clock. And then we're not done with the entertainment. We had a, an interactive show oh. coming your way at 9.30. Brilliant. The entertainment team of the Carl Princess are getting together tonight to put together a brilliant variety show. The singers will be there, the dancers will be there, the musicians will be there, we'll be there, the crew staff will be there, everybody will be there doing ye old hub night. We're thinking Victorian London, we're thinking games and contests and sketches, and of course, the brilliant Coral Princess singers and dancers. It's one show tonight, 9.30, Explorer's Lounge. Don't miss it. So, 6.30, 8 o'clock, AJ Clark at the Princess Theater, 9.30, ye old pub night. Does it get any better? I don't think so. Movies Under the Stars is the imitation game. Here's a look. All of our onboard services are open and available after we set sail. The one exception, the hardworking folks up in the Lotus Spa, they work all day, every day, and they have great port day specials. 14626 is a number to dial for an appointment. Give them a call and pamper yourself. Okay, final thoughts, Squire. Final thoughts today. A word to the wise ain't necessary. It's the stupid ones that need the advice. Bill Cosby. We're going to leave you with some important information on Ketchikan. We're going to give you the history of Ketchikan and also some tips on what to see and do. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great day in Ketchikan. One favor, be back on board by 1.30. We're setting sail shortly thereafter. Take care. Thanks so much for tuning in. Take care. Bye-bye for now. Right.